This is a public service announcement. This is the current state of the Wi-Fi in Cambodia. The vlogs probably aren't going out on time this week. Don't worry, you'll get the daily vlogs eventually. It just might not be daily. Ready for some breakfast. To make your own coffee this morning. I did it all by myself. <laughs> Let's don't make this a habit. Don't worry. It's still your job. You got a big old pancake. This is like the thickest pancake I've ever seen. Look on an omelet. There's two things we have no idea what they are. Banana soup. And the spiky fruit. Very interesting. All right, got it for us. Wonder how you eat it. Nice. <laughs> that was a big bite if you don't like it. I have a hard thing in the middle. Mm. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat the middle or not. That would go probably not. It looks like an almond. Why don't you keep that to yourself? It's like a nut. I feel like I could eat the middle of it. Yeah, that was very good. Inside was it looks like a mix of bubble tea and oatmeal with some banana. That is coconut milk. I wonder it was so good. Nuts. And whatever the little clear jelly balls are. I'm not a huge fan of coconut milk. I thought it was delicious. A uh, tuk tuk to the museum. Sure. museum We just arranged for a tuk tuk to pick us up and take us to the National Museum. We're enjoying the tuk tuk experience. Yeah, it's nice. You're really like in the action in the tuk tuk. It's nothing like riding in a taxi. You get to experience the sounds and the smells and the dust. Yeah. We're not usually big museum people, but we feel like we'll really appreciate the next few days better if we know more about what it is. And we're off to the tuk tuk. Whoa. That was bump. That was car. I'm sure we'll get across this busy road no problem. I can say this is the first time that I've ever paid for an audio guide <laughs> in a museum. I'm gonna video until we get told not to. I think we're listening to like number 30. We started skipping at 15. <laughs> so many videos. I think we've been here for maybe an hour and a half. Never ends. Some intense stuff. What we've been doing this whole time. I'm burnt out now. <laughs> Never ends. Carrie's moving pretty quickly through the museum at this point. I think we're both ready to eat. I think we made it for like two hours in there. It kind of reminded me of being in class. And that was the first time I felt like I was gonna fall asleep learning something in a long time. I feel like we learned a lot, but it was just about all of the kings who, the Khmer, 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 Khmer. 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 It was just about all the kings that the Khmer people would worship as gods and then they built these temples for them. And there's like a billion of them. Pretty much like you would have to have a background in Hinduism or Buddhism in order to be able to really understand any of it. So here's what I've gathered. The temples started as Hindu temples. They were built to 
resemble some mountain cosmos. Like a mythical thing. Ooh, and there's like this like serpent named Naga. Some some people pulled on him and they stirred up the milk lake and then the ocean of milk. The ocean of milk and they were then turning it by pulling on the snake. That created humanity, the cosmos. This man was born out of his navel. Oh yeah, Vishnu. Some guy comes out of Vishnu's navel with and four he heads. Created the universe. Makes sense to me. I think maybe it started around 500 AD and Angkor Wat, which is like the main temple that everybody knows, was built around the 11th or 12th century. All of them are pretty much over like a thousand years old. They had a lot of statues in there. I don't really feel like there can be any left at the temple. There were so <laughs> many in there. I think there's gonna be plenty. All I know is we booked six nights here with the plan of exploring the temples most of the time. I think we might get tumbled out pretty quickly. All right, now to do our favorite thing, find food. Remember the name of the street? Pub Street. Pub Street. We are heading to Pub Street. <laughs> Chips and salsa looks like in Cambodia. These are interesting. Guacamole is weird. I did not even taste like an avocado. I don't know what it is. Also, the serving size isn't quite what we're used to in the U.S. No bottomless chips and salsa here. Kara, scale of one to ten, how is the Mexican food? If you factor in the lack of chips and the guacamole, I would give it like a seven. It's not bad for Cambodia. I didn't hate it. We are going to buy our tickets to visit Angkor Wat for the next three days because if you buy your ticket after, oh my goodness, if you buy your ticket after 5 p.m., that technically counts for the next day. So we're getting an extra sunset at Angkor Wat by going tonight and starting our three day ticket tomorrow. to the top of that. I cannot believe you're still allowed to walk on these things. My parents told me like 30 years ago on their honeymoon that they got to walk on the big pyramids in Chichen Itza, which I just thought was absolutely crazy. I feel like whenever Kara and I finally have kids, this is gonna be that story that we're telling our kids. Like, Remember when we went to Angkor Wat and we could walk on the temples? This is so cool! Definitely the coolest temple experience I've ever had. Because usually you just look at it from forever away and you're like, oh, wouldn't that neat? We're like in it, we're touching it. <laughs> this is where they were. We just keep touching everything <laughs> because you're allowed to. Huh? <laughs> Come soon, people. I'm sure you won't be able to do this much longer. <laughs> Get here while you can. We're going up those stairs.
top 10 sunsets of my life. 10's a lot. At least top five. <laughs> it was like Lion King. Like it just kept getting more orange. <laughs> and oh, he's saying we have to go. Oh, oh. Bye. Getting kicked out. Apparently it's time to go. Kara? Pretty pumped about the next three days. I am. Like. I thought we might get templed out quickly, but that was really awesome. Look at that temple in the background. How cool is that? Oh, we should take a picture. We'll just screenshot it. Screenshot. <laughs> Going well. Oh, perfect. Play the number two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at his mouth. His mouth won't close. <laughs> I can't pull his mouth. I look so good. Oh, look, he's going for the camera. I won't pull Maybe to get some frog legs. No, it's a frog. It's a whole frog. Maybe to get some whole frogs. <laughs> Head of whole frogs. Foods. Frogs. Here we go. <laughs> now it just says upstream. Wait, there's so many old white people walking through. This is unreal that you can walk around and touch all of this stuff. Look, you can just touch it. It's like an ancient artifact. So like thousands of years old. This is like a thousand years old. These were carved a thousand years ago. I mean, just to think that they were like hanging out here and we're just hanging out here. These people must have been giants. These steps are huge. Good night. You gotta do a full lunge. Do not vlog and walk on this. For some reason, Kara doesn't want me vlogging and walking by this edge right here. You're gonna fall. Vlogging. Vlogging on the edge. <laughs> <laughs>